Let's say that we have three integers, a, b, and c. And we know that all of these integers are greater than zero. So they're integers, and they are greater than zero. And we also know that the expression, that the expression a plus b over c, that this is also an integer. The entire expression, if you were to evaluate it, is also an integer. And then finally, we know that a is divisible, divisible, or another way of saying it, that a is a multiple of c. So a is divisible by c, which is another way of saying is a is a multiple, multiple, multiple of c. So this is what we know. a, b, and c are integers, all greater than 0. We know that the expression a plus b over c also an integer, and that a is a multiple of c, or in other ways that c divides perfectly into a. So our question for you, or the question for all of us to work out right now, is, is, is b a multiple? Does b have to be a multiple of c? Let me write it that way. Does, does b, given all of these constraints, does b have to be, have to be a multiple, multiple of c? So let's see how we can, and I encourage you to pause the video right now to, to kind of come up with your own answer of, about whether b has to be a multiple of c. So now that you've unpaused things, let's work it out. So let's go to our original expression right over here. We have a plus b over c. And, and really, one way to, 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 to tackle this is to really just play around with this expression and see if we can come up with any conclusions here. So one, we could try to rewrite a plus b over c. We could rewrite that as a over c plus b over c. a over c plus b over c. And this expression is the exact same thing as our, as our first expression. So we know that this entire thing is going to be an integer. That old, whole thing is going to be an integer. Now, what do we know about these parts? Well, a over c, this is a divided by c. We know that a is divisible by c. We know that a is a multiple of c. So a divided by c, this is going to be an integer. So let me write that. So this information, this information right over here, tells us that this thing right over here, that a divided by c is going to be an integer. This is going to be an integer. Now, if I have an integer and I add something to it, and the whole thing is an integer, well, the thing that I'm adding to it must be an integer. The only way that I get an integer plus something to be an integer is if the thing I'm adding it to is also an integer. So this, so this, there's no way that I could add an integer to a non-integer and then get an integer. So this has to be, this has to be an integer. Has to be an integer. And if b over c is an integer, that means that b, that yes, b must be a multiple of c. So the answer here is, Yes.